Just when you think it can't get any worse for Joe Biden, what do you know it does? Americans are reacting to that miserable, awful, disastrous press conference this week, and they're reacting by even lowering their 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 esteem for him even more. Let me share with you the results of of the the latest polls. This is actually a real clear politics poll of polls, which shows for the first time, Joe Biden has actually seen his approval rating sink overall, all the, the you know the average of all the polls to forty point five percent. Wow, and his disapproval rating is now fifty five point three percent. So more than half the country now thinks that Joe Biden is doing a really bad job. But you know why that is? It's because he is. He is doing a really bad job. And you know what? You, you can only fake it for so long. Americans are not stupid. I keep saying that because for some reason, this team at the White House really thinks we are stupid. And they think if they just say, oh, no, he didn't really say that when, in fact, he did, like, you know, the bit on Ukraine. I'm going to get to that in a second, um, that somehow it'll all go away. Or maybe the team thinks that they didn't really put out a statement telling us that inflation had gone down when, in fact, inflation had gone up. Food prices had gone up. I mean, it, it's wild to me. There's, there's only so much spin, right, that Americans can take because we know what reality is. We know what he said. And just to repeat what he said in that press conference concerning Ukraine, talking about Putin, Joe Biden said, and I quote, he will move in. Again, talking about Putin. He will move in. He has to do something. So that's being seen effectively as kind of a green light. The president of the United States just said, well, you know, he's going to do something. And then they, they followed up. The reporters amazingly followed up, right, asking about the sanctions that he was talking about. And he said, well, it depends on whether it's a minor incursion or something bigger. And, quote, it depends. Well, I'm sorry. You've now just telegraphed to the world that you're okay with a minor incursion. You're kind of anticipating and expecting a minor incursion. You know, he's got to do something was the quote. So uh, you've just gotten us into a much worse situation because you're not precise with your language and maybe you're just not that smart, Joe Biden. Well, Americans have figured that out. They've also figured out that inflation is bad. Our international standing is bad. And by the way, our border is still bad. Tens of thousands of people coming into the United States illegally every month. I mean, we, we've seen numbers that we've never seen at our border. And yet our own Homeland Secretary, Mayorkas is out there talking with the illegals that came here and all want $500,000 each, $500,000 each, because, well, you know, they've been through all this trauma. I'm not saying it was nice or fair or great to, to separate people from their families. That was obviously a really tragic thing that happened. But nonetheless, let me just point out, you need consequences. And if you don't have those consequences for coming here, then effectively you're incentivizing people to come here. I mean, this is kind of something you can go back to the, you know, the laws of economics. I mean, why, why are we incentivizing people to come here? Overall, just any way you slice it, this president and his team are doing a bad job and America knows it, which is why, you know what, this year is so, so, so important. And I want to tell you about a group that recognizes exactly how important it is. I want you to join them along with me, AMAC. AMAC dot us slash regan for membership you get all kinds of free things like you know coupons at restaurants hotels all that good stuff but most importantly you know this is such an important year it's such an important year for for this country for all americans especially for american seniors who are increasingly under pressure given all the inflation that we have seen in our economy given all the hardship that we can anticipate i think in the next couple of months and this is why we need groups standing up for america's seniors this particular group amac association of mature american citizens is nearly two million members strong and lots of great people are out there trying to stop this out of control spending with the build back better nonsense it's not going to get us anywhere by the way congress is plotting meanwhile more legislation to spend more money that will hurt our seniors inflation comes because you get too much money in the system right we've already had too much money in the system they want to pay even more money in the system you got midterm elections coming up and this really is boiling down to a battle of freedom freedom versus socialism. So unlike some of the liberal groups out there, AMAC is America's conservative action-oriented 50 plus organization fighting hard for everyday Americans in Washington and across the nation for our seniors. So I urge you right now, 
to join AMAC. You'll receive all the great benefits, including AMAC discounts on hotels, travel, and restaurants, and your membership will go to support your values. How important is that? Go to amac.us slash Regan. Again, amac.us slash Regan to become an APAC member now. But it brings us to who exactly is going to wind up running in 2024. I mean, they can't put Joe Biden out there again. I think that's pretty evident. I think Joe Biden even knows that. I mean, Joe Biden said all along he was only going to run once. I guess he was going to pass the torch on to Kamala Harris, but they can't put Kamala Harris out there. I mean, forget about it. So the Democrats are left um, in a bit of a, a situation, so we say. And there's Hillary Clinton waiting in the wings. I mean, when you are actually turning to Hillary Clinton, what does that say about your party? It, it tells me that they have not allowed for any growth any bench. I mean, you think about Tulsi Gabbard, what they did to Tulsi Gabbard, accusing her of being a Russian spy because she was a threat, a competitor to Hillary Clinton. Think about that. Think about what you're signing up for as a candidate if you're going to run. You're taking on the Clinton machine and, and you run the risk of being labeled a Russian spy. I mean, that it's pretty incredible that the lengths to which they will go to destroy some of the politicians that are on the rise. And their whole problem is they don't have enough politicians that are really down the center, down the middle. People elected Joe Biden because they thought, oh, you know what, he's down the middle. He won't do any crazy thing like, you know, side with Bernie Sanders and AOC and do this build back better nonsense. No. And what is the first thing he did as soon as he got to the White House? He assembled all these historians, all these academics, all these reporters and journalists to tell him, oh, you got to go big. You got to go really, really big big programs. That's how you are remembered in history, like FDR. And so Americans did not elect a new FDR. They just wanted a guy who could, you know, put the lights on. And it doesn't seem like Joe can even do that. They just wanted a guy who wasn't going to be super controversial, who was going to keep the status quo, who was going to help grow our economy on the trajectory it was already on, right? And instead, we've got an economic standstill, we've got inflation, we've got, it's like 1970s all over again. And so this is not what Americans signed up for. And the Democrats have nobody else, which is why I think anybody, anybody can beat Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, or Hillary Clinton come 2024. The, the Republicans are in the best position they have ever been in. This should be an absolute layup because Americans are hungry for conservative principles. You know, whether it's your kid in their schools, whether it's the border, whether it's our, our international standing, or whether it's just our, our plain and simple old economy. You know, let's get this inflation under control. Conservative economic and foreign and domestic principles and policies are going to help get us there. So this should be a layup. Let's hope it is. Because I'll tell you what, this country cannot take four more years of this. I don't think we can take three more years of this, let alone four more years of this. Just a reminder, everyone, thank you for being here. Make sure that you subscribe. Subscribe to this channel. Do me that favor. Hit the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel on Rumble, YouTube, wherever you're getting your video. If you're listening on Spotify or Apple iTunes, make, you, make sure you subscribe there. And importantly, come find me over on Locals, trishregan.locals.com. You're going to get a lot of behind the scenes content, extra stuff that you don't get here. You can help support the show. You can interact directly with me there on Locals, trishregan.locals.com. And I'll see you Monday.